wipe them out. All of them. No! 3D and conversion of 3D is not a technical thing. It's an art that you need artists for, and artists who have sensibility about where things fit in the frame. And to find the talented people who could do it, like John Knoll, who was a special effects supervisor on episodes one, two, and three, was an enormous advantage. My job here is to come into this with a point of view to enforce an aesthetic that's consistent across the film. So I'm not really looking for places to poke stuff out at the camera. I believe very strongly with 3D that I don't like things coming out into the audience. I like everything to be behind the proscenium. I'm going for a naturalistic stereo as though the movie had been shot in stereo. And it can drop! Go. So the amount of depth that you get in a particular shot is related to what's the closest object versus what's the farthest object. And that's your dynamic range of depth. It's working! Also in terms of depth and telling the story, there's a lot of issues where things are going on in the background that are very important, and you notice them more in 3D than you do in 2D. That extra dimension makes the object seem more real and makes the audience feel more like they're present in that environment. Doing the film in 3D makes it so much better. So whether you see it in 3D or see it in 2D, see it on the big screen, there's nothing like it. I can't believe it.